Hey guys, Token Vaping. Um, today's juice review is going to be on a line that I had the pleasure of touching base with um, the main people behind this. They are uh, based in the same state as I am, Washington State. Uh, they're based out of Tacoma. Um, so it is a few hours from me, but it's not that far. So I'm hoping one of these days that I make it, uh, make a trip down there and uh, be able to meet these guys in person. Um, the name of the company is Triforce Vapor. Sorry about the glare there. There you go. And they've got the really cool Elemental logo here. So basically just showing the unity of the elements of life and everything else like that. Um, they are on Facebook and Instagram. Um, Instagram is Triforce Vapor. Their Facebook is Triforce Vapor 1. But they do have a seven flavor line. This is their flavor menu. Um, the logo, the coloring, the, the, the little symbols that they use, all really, really cool. Um, definitely catch your eye on this. Um, these are the bottles that I was able to acquire from them for sampling. Um, they do offer 15 and 30 mil bottles. Um, I believe the 30 mil bottles are right around the $20 mark. Um, so real reasonable. Um, they're not overpriced. They're not. That's not the point of why they're in business. They're not trying to, uh, you know, basically suck all the money out of you. Um, they they just want to put out a good quality um, vaping juice for uh, the vaping community so that you can enjoy true flavor, true true vaping, um, and be able to uh, find a flavor that will fit your palate. You know, and basically just just enjoy yourself and not worry about, you know, whether or not you're going to be charged an arm and a leg, whether or not what you're using is going to be, you know, safe or if it's uh, considered premium or high quality. Um, they take a lot of a lot of time and and effort and put into this juice line. They take this very very seriously. You know, I, I've like I said, I've I've had the privilege of spending a few minutes talking to these people here and there um, on a continuing basis, and no matter. What we talk about, whether it's based on the flavor line, whether it's based on just vaping, whether it's just a, hey, how are you type thing, um, you can easily tell their passion for this, their dedication to this, how seriously they take this. Um, this is definitely something that it means a lot to them and it's very important to them. Um, and real quick before I forget, you know, there are a lot of reviewers out there that are making sure that they do um, announce this or, or broadcast this, but with all of the the issues going on with the FDA and all of that, you know, if you haven't um, joined, uh, you know, CASA or, or an organize, organization like that, please do so. You know, the more vapors that we can get united onto this, the better chance we might have of trying to get this, you know, not so extreme against the vaping community as a whole. So definitely check out CASA, you know, and any type of uh, petitions that are uh, that are trying to support the vaping rights, um, calling your their, your congressmen, your your local uh, politicians, things like that. You know, make sure your voice is heard and don't just do it once. You know, there's a there's are a few out there um, that are definitely making sure that people know, you know, just keep doing it. The more we do this, the more we show them that we're serious about this, um, it's definitely going to help benefit us in the long run. With that said, um, Triforce Vapors. This is um, a really well done line. As, as you can see on the bottles, they are unique in the sense that they're not your typical round bottles. I do like their logo a lot. You know, the, the triangle elements, um, basically just showing the connection of everything and it just, it all fits. You know, the flavor menu has, you know, the, the different pictures and the symbols going for, you know, earth, wind, and fire. And then on the back is uh, Philosopher's Stone, which is its own unique flavor, which is basically supposed to be combining everything uh, that makes up life as we know it. Really, really cool concept, really cool theme. But they don't go to the point of where they're trying to take you your attention and focus away from the juice itself but it's just enough that it adds to um, the quality and uh, the uniqueness to this line now there is seven flavors in this line and I do apologize I'm not sure if I misplaced the f one of the bottles or if I just unfortunately didn't come across one but there was one flavor that I did not 
have in this line to sample. So unfortunately, I cannot give you my opinion on that. Um, but I can go through their flavors that I did try uh, real fast so that everybody gets a feel of what their flavor line is offering. Plus, I will show you um, a vape on one of the flavors, or my favorite of the set. Now, like I said, the, they are offered in a 15, 30 mil. The 30 mil bottles obviously are going to be the more popular sizes. They retail for around, I'm going to say the $20 mark. So it's, like I said, it's not super unreasonable as far as a charge. They are offered in a 0, a 3, a 6, and a 12. I believe there's also a 9 in there. I think they do a custom um, 9 just to add that. Do not quote me on that. I, I could be wrong for that one, but I do know that there was multiple nicotine levels. Um, so I do apologize for that. However, one thing that I do know and this is just my opinion, so please do not take this as me trying to uh, convey how you should feel or how you should uh, take this take this flavor line or what you should get out of this. My opinion is just basically just that, my opinion. Um, everybody's taste palette is different. Everybody's vaping ex experience is different. So no matter what I say, that could differ from my next door neighbor or the person down the block. So I'm just trying to give you as honest an opinion of this line as I can so that it might help you figure out whether or not it's something that you want to try or something you might want to um, invest in or look into or you know if you if you work in a shop saying hey you know I came across this this review on this line it sounds kind of interesting maybe we should reach out to them and see what we can do um, like I said there are seven flavors of this line um, two and there's two in each and then, as I said, there's one final one on the back, which is kind of just a pulling together of everything. Um, the two for Earth is Heaven on Earth. It's a mixture of 10 fruits to give you a little Heaven on Earth, basically. So it's just supposed to be a bountiful berry berry type flavor. That was the flavor, unfortunately, and it's the first one that I read. But that was the flavor that I was not able to try. I did not, I could not find the bottle. Um... I have six of them and there is seven total so unfortunately I do apologize however if it is made and I'm gonna assume that it's like the rest of this line it's going to be very solid it's going to uh, basically give you a very berry filled um, fruitful blast of a uh, of a vape um, now as to whether it's going to be more like a fruit punch or like a fruit salad or just a fruit conglomeration that unfortunately I apologize I cannot tell you um, but the, for instance, the second flavor in Earth is Frozen Fields. Um, it's a field of strawberries made into a milkshake. This is actually my favorite of the set. It is an amazing, it literally is a strawberry milkshake, but it's not super strong on the strawberry and it is not super creamy on the milkshake. It literally is a well done milkshake flavor. And that actually will be the one that I will show you the vape and the cloud production for on this uh, on this video I really do like that flavor a lot under wind the two flavors that you're gonna have is sirens breath which is tropical fruits and a frosty breeze now as most of you know if you've watched my videos I'm not a huge menthol fan I just I'm I don't like the menthol flavor I don't like a minty flavor however honestly this is probably one of the only flavors that I've come across that has a menthol minty style to it that I was actually able to vape comfortably without it totally turning me off to it is it going to be my first choice of the set? Probably not. However, it still was a nice enough vape. Um, it was basically kind of like you know a tropical fruit punch with a bit of a of a of a menthol kick on the end. So and it wasn't strong enough to where it overtook the entire vape. You know you still definitely get your tropical flavor, and then on the tail end, that menthol that mentholated feel kicks in, so it gives you that. That, re that cooling factor afterwards so if you do like menthol if you do like um, not so much a mint taste but if you like that minty um, refreshment uh, on a vape definitely give that flavor a try it will not um, disappoint you in that in that aspect uh, cloud serpent cloud serpent sorry about that cloud serpent um, is nectarine and peach blended in a creamy yogurt again this one I actually was a, was a fan of. I did like it. Um, nectarines and peaches are actually kind of similar in in flavor, so I guess it, it. I mean, obviously, it does make sense to kind of mix them. However, I pro I got more of a peach 
yogurt style flavor out of it. I didn't really get a huge nectarine kick. Um, there were a few on a few of the vapes. I got the nectarine in the beginning of it, which ended in the peach. Um, regardless, though, you know, it, it had that um, um, a peach taste to it with the yogurt. So, I mean, it for the most part, it basically tastes the way it's supposed to, but it's not a peach yogurt specific. Like, if you've ever actually had a peach yogurt, um, this was more of a creamy peach uh, flavor. So, it would... Whether or not you're going to specifically say, oh yeah, that's a, that's a peach yogurt, it's hard to say, as I said, you know, everybody's different. So, you might get a few different um, reactions out of this. However, it was a very creamy, smooth peach flavor just in general for me, which I did like very much. Um, Mount Plume under the fire uh, line is mangoes and coconut. Um, it says akin to a mango sticky rice. So basically, you do get the mangoes and the coconut. Um, I think what they're uh, what they were trying to get across is that you're if you've ever had mango sticky rice, you're kind of kind of get that that impression from this. I would say the very tail end of the vape after you've exhaled the vapor and you still have that taste in your mouth, that's where that, that sticky rice um, is flavor is going to kind of come in. Um, it was definitely mango, but a very nice smooth mango flavor. It wasn't overly subtle, but it wasn't a super punch in your face. The coconut kind of mixed in as an undertone more. I don't know if it was meant to be as much of a of a player as the mango, but I got enough as an undertone that it was a nice mixture. It was definitely different. I will, I will say that. It was not something that I'm used to vaping or something I was expecting, but it was very much a an interesting surprise as far as a flavor. Is it something that I could vape every day? I honestly don't know. I, I mean, I, I would definitely be willing to try it, but it was definitely not a flavor that I vaped on and was like, oh my God, that's that tastes weird. I can't try that. It definitely had, I can definitely see how somebody could be addicted to the flavor, to be honest with you. Um, it is different. It is unique, but it's not too much. Um, Earth Meets Fire is basically an oatmeal cookie dipped in milk. Um, this one probably would be what I would consider the more general flavor of the set. Um, if you've ever had a flavor that was supposed to be a cookie of any kind dipped in milk and it just has kind of that milky aftertaste or that, that hint of it, um, I mean, it that is basically what it tastes like. You definitely do taste the oatmeal. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's, it, it is a spot-on flavor as far as for an oatmeal cookie. And it does have that hint of, of that creaminess at the end to uh, represent the milk. Um, but as like with the sticky rice flavor or the strawberry milkshake, you know, it, it wasn't one that I would say stood out as far as being just, you know, bam type thing. Um, but it, it's, it's still a very solid flavor. So, I mean, if you do like, you know, the, the cookie, the cookie flavors or you know the the milk dipped cookie flavor it it most definitely is one to add to your collection i'm not going to say that it's not worth trying all of these flavors are definitely worth trying um i just want to make sure that i don't make it sound like i'm trying to over hype them if that's not what i'm trying to get at so it's very solid flavor oatmeal cookie absolutely um with the milky aftertaste but again if you've had that flavor before then you know what it, you know what to expect to taste out of that. Um, the Philosopher Stone is a peach green tea um, that basically is supposed to be in harmony with each of the of the elements, earth, wind, and fire. So it's supposed to basically be a mixture of everything, but not in the sense of they took a little bit of each flavor and threw it all into this vape. Um, it's basically supposed to just take the elements, an element of each. Um, of each part and combine it all into the peach green tea. So it's basically supposed to just be infused with the uh, the essence of the other three. So, you know, as far as if you get, um, you know, with earth, it, it's more of the fruitier, the fruitier flavor. So you're going to get it, get a little bit of a fruit kick to it. Um, with the wind, it has a very more, uh, more refreshing, uh, cooling sensation to that. And then you have fire, which is supposed to just be a hardier, heavier type vape. So you take all of those elements and those flavors, 
kind of mash them in with the peach green tea and it's supposed to just be an overall um, fulfilling uh, peach green tea flavor uh, that basically makes you feel complete and in that sense I haven't had a whole lot of green tea it just has a weird aftertaste to me when I actually have tried it like in the actual form itself so for in that sense it's more of a um, it's not something that I, I I drink regularly to be able to be an expert on it and say oh my god that's the best green tea vape flavor I've tried I definitely taste the peach and I do get a tea aftertaste um, but it's one of those ones that it honestly it's really kind of hard to to break down into a specific description as to an exact flavor of it to be able to describe it to you um, it definitely is unique I, I have no problem saying that it is definitely different um, but it's it's a very hearty it's a hearty vape um, by that I'm basically I, I, I'm just trying to say that while it does have the tea aftertaste of and the peach flavor um, it is a heavier vape so that it's kind of like when you vape a, a, a dessert flavor as opposed to a fruit flavor one's light the fruit flavor has a lighter feel to it than the the dessert flavor which has a heavier feel because it's meant to be heartier it's kind of like with the peach green tea because it's supposed to infuse everything of this of the of the the elements all into this one flavor so there it's going to be a heavier uh, a heavier feel a heavier vape a more solid grounded um, feeling behind it so it definitely does have that however it's not because specifically of the flavor so to speak it's just in general the way that the feeling that you get when you vape it it has a very hearty uh, hearty vape to it and I know that's a little vague and I do apologize for that but that's about the the best way I can describe it so if you're looking for something different and you do you do like green tea um, but if you're looking for something that isn't going to be common or there isn't going to be something that somebody could could give you in a different line and say this is similar to that it's definitely worth giving it giving a try um, it's not like anything I've ever I've ever tried before um, that's definitely a good thing in in its defense um, but again because it's not like anything I've ever really tasted before I can't really compare it to a whole lot so it's it's a unique flavor um, and I'll just leave it at that. That's that's probably the easiest way that I can explain that without making it sound like a negative thing because it's not by any means. Um, so real quick, I'm going to go ahead and vape, um, as I stated, Frozen Fields. And like I said, it is a glass square bottle. It does have the child safety cap on it. It does say Nature's Elements and Harmony on the back, on top of the ingredients and the warning label. And then on the front, their nicotine level is right there in the center of the triangle with the name of the company and the name of the flavor so this is frozen fields this was that strawberry milkshake so I'm going to vape this for you and show you the density of the clouds off of this and we will go from there and I will also tell you the flavor as it comes out and just to see if it is still just as con consistent as it was when I first tried this flavor. So we'll go with that and put this on and real quick I am vaping it at 75 watts and the cotton that I'm using as always is Texas Tough Cotton. Um, it is one of the strongest, most solid uh, wicking cottons that I've had the pleasure of using. It is the only wicking cotton that I use at this point. Um, I just like the way that it holds flavor. It doesn't have a very cottony vape to it, even when you first wick uh, a build. Um, but if you are interested, it's Texas Tough Cotton on Instagram, so definitely give that a check. 75 watts, frozen fields from Triforce Vapors. It's a strawberry milkshake.
So yeah, as you can de you can definitely see, very solid clouds. Um, it's a very smooth vape, very comfortable vape, very a definite strawberry milkshake. Um, it's not a strawberry milk um, j because it it has a, a definite heavier feel to it. So it's more accustomed to the milkshake aspect, but it's not so creamy that you get a yogurt or a custard taste out of that. It is definitely you definitely taste the strawberry milkshake if you've ever had one. That's good. Um, what I kind of like about it, though, actually, is that it's supposed to be a strawberry milkshake, but if you vape it enough, on the when you do the the tasting at the end of it, it almost you almost are kind of expecting to ha taste it like a strawberry seed or something in your mouth when you, when they use like actual strawberries in a milkshake, you get the little seed chunks in your mouth. You almost kind of expect to taste that as well, which would be really weird to put in a vaping juice if you think about it. But a very solid vape. Frozen Fields, definitely my choice out of this set. Triforce Vapors, definitely check them out on Instagram. Give them a try. Give them a follow. Give them a like. Um, reach out to them. Their email address is on their, their Instagram page. They're also on Facebook at Triforce Vapor 1. Um, definitely give this line a try if you're looking for a very solid, just all around, well round uh, flavor line. Um, like I said, these guys based out of Tacoma take it very, very seriously. Um, Triforce Vapor, thank you guys so very much. This was a huge privilege and an honor. Um, and I hope that, you know, I've done nothing but help further promote your company. This is a great line. You guys are on the right track with this. Um, as always, Token Vaping here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest. Uh, reach out to me, hit me up, subscribe, like, follow. Any questions, anything that I can do or find out for you that will help further enhance your vaping experience. It's the only reason why I'm doing this. So anything that I can do to help you and better your vaping, absolutely, without a doubt, I will try and do. So let me know. Till next time, guys, vape on, vape strong. Have a good night.